Today, Chris Damned and I are going to show you how to yoga. Chris here has never done yoga, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to share with you a few of my favorite poses to help you get in the best yoga shape. Remember while you're doing these poses that yoga is less about the pose and more about the breath. So just do your best not to let anything take your breath away. We're going to start off with the most important pose of yoga, which is the downward facing dog. Okay. What's that? <laughs> well, I'm so glad you asked. Get on all fours. Okay. The thing is, it's very important for you to make sure you're limber and make sure you get a good stretch from yoga. So first and foremost, you've got your hands out. Lift those hips up. And with this, it's very, very important mm -hmm. to keep that back as straight as you possibly can. Good. Oh, just gonna pull your waist up a little bit. I'm gonna pull your waist up. Uh -huh. Now just put your legs closer to mine. And now see if you can drive those heels down into the ground. Good. Okay. Now pedal out those calves. Good. Pedal them out so you really get that nice stretch. Uh -huh. You really want that stretch to go to the deepest parts of your calves. Good. How does that feel for you? Challenging. Keep breathing. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure this is your first time? <laughs> and this is called the happy baby. It's a very simple pose, but it's something that helps stretch out those hips when they get a little too tight from whatever activities you might be doing mm -hmm. when you're not here with me. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna get you on your back this time. Now with the happy baby, it's exactly what a happy baby would do. We're gonna put these legs straight back. And you're gonna grab the inside and you're gonna pull those back. Good. Oh, that actually feels good. Pull them back. And I'm gonna push down a little bit and oh, help you out here. Go for it. You don't wanna to push too hard into the stretch too early on. So, what you wanna do is to like push it a little bit at a time and then pull back. Push a little bit at a time and pull back. How's that stretch for you? Oh, feels good. Keep going. See? You focus on your breath long enough, you get deeper and deeper in the stretch. God, you're doing so good. Yeah. You're doing so good. I'm proud of you. Mm. Okay. We're stretching. I'm sorry. Yeah, stretch. we're stretching. This is actually called the plow pose. Mm. Now, it's very, very important to stretch out your lower back. Mm. It carries so much tension in the day walking or when you're sitting. So that's why we want to make sure it's nice and stretched out because that's literally the midpoint between your entire body. It's the connecting point. So we want to keep it nice and limber. So what we're going to do now is put your legs as far back over your head as possible. So you're going to have to help yourself here and guide your lower back up, over, Oh, wow, well, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> so with this, if you can stretch your legs out straight in front of you, see, you want to feel that stretch all the way up your lower back. Okay, I see stars, all that. <laughs> oh yeah, all the blood rushing. <laughs> and this one, you're just going to turn around. Yes, sir. And then you're going to push those hips down. Yeah, so we're stretching out the inner thighs right here. Sometimes they don't get enough attention. So you're gonna make sure that nice and stretch good. Go down. Remember, focus on those breaths. Now there is one bonus pose called the bridge pose. What's that? Well, that one I think would best be safe. Oh. So we'll do these last this last yoga pose strictly for. All right. Because we're gonna have to do it the way God intended. Naked. Naked. Yes. <laughs> and I guess that's gonna do it for this video. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.